In this video, we're going to show you how to unlock the bootloader of your Xperia device. Before you begin, make sure to read all the instructions and be aware of the risks involved. Unlocking the bootloader is mainly for developers, and we do not recommend this to all users. Unlocking the bootloader may remove certain Sony-specific functions and lead to permanent damage to your device. First, select your device in the list. In this video, we will be using an Xperia X Compact. Note that it is only possible to unlock the bootloader for certain releases. To make sure that your device is unlockable, enter this code in the dialer to access the service menu. Tap on Service Info and Configuration. If the rooting status says no, or the status is missing, your device can unfortunately not be unlocked. Press Continue and enter your email. Make sure you read and agree to the terms and conditions, then press Submit. You will now receive an email with a link to the next step. Now you have to enter your IMEI, IDID, or MEID number. If you don't know where to find this information, check out the How do I find my IMEI section on the website. Once again, make sure you're aware of the risks involved and accept the terms. Great! Now you have your unlock code. If you don't already have the Android SDK Manager on your computer, click the link to install it. If you do not want to download the entire Android Studio, it's enough to download the basic Android command line tools. Choose the appropriate package for your computer. Take notice of the installation path, as you may need to access these files later. When the SDK Manager has been installed, open the program and take a look at the Extras folder, where you will be able to install the Google USB driver. For those of you who are running Windows, you will also need to download and install an updated fastboot driver. The USB driver folder is located in the SDK Extras Google folder. Extract the file into the USB driver folder and replace the current Android underscore WinUSB file. The next steps are required for all operating systems. Go to your device and open Settings, Developer Options, and enable USB debugging. If you cannot find the developer options, go to About Phone and tap on your build version a few times until your developer options have been made accessible. Now turn off your device and connect it to your computer while holding the fastboot button. This will connect your device in fastboot mode. The fastboot button may vary on different devices. The button for your device will be stated in the instructions on the page. Connecting through the fastboot driver will vary depending on your operating system. For Windows users, when asked for a driver, open the devices in printers directory, click on the fastboot driver, and press update. Browse and point to the USB driver folder. Now that your device is connected, it's time to open the command prompt and go to the platform tools folder within the SDK folder. Type in fastboot devices. Lastly, enter the following command but with your personal unlock key. Please note that the next step is the final one, and when this has been done, your device will be unlocked. For more information and news on our Open Device program, make sure to check out our Open Devices section on developer.sonymobile.com/opendevices.